This way! <laughs> Is it for the it's him. Uh, rub some acid in his eyes. <laughs> That'll refresh him. Uh, come here. Uh oh. Ah, wait. Oh. Master, evilness truly suits you. Let us go forth. There are nefarious deeds to be done. I feel the land quaking with fear already. I am Nav, minion master and devoted servant of darkness. The haziness will pass and your muscles will become limber again. You have been asleep for a very long... This cavern is the spawning pit, sire, where new minions are born and live. Now you are here, you can call forth minions from this minion gate. Ah, look at those keen little evil faces, ready to loot and pillage at your command. Let us continue. Follow me if you wish to study the finer points of combat and minion control. Of course, if you want to get straight to the smiting, then I shall meet you in the throne room upstairs. Your minions will follow you wherever you go, Master, unless you give them a task. Being Overlord is more than just throwing a few fireballs and causing chaos. Proper evil takes skill and maybe, well, just a bit of mayhem. <laughs> I think the Sleeping Beauty's a little rusty. Oh, our jester, sire. I really should have nailed him out for the crows long ago. Teach him to respect his overlord. <laughs> You're tickling! <laughs> Good! Now hit him again! Don't hold back! <laughs> See? It's all coming back now. Evil is not something you just forget. Come on, Princess! You move like a dead butcher! Shame you don't smell as good! He's out of your reach, sire! Use your minions to shut his flapping mouth! They should call you the Overlord! Oh, it warms my black heart to see them running about the place, trying to rip each other apart. Oh. Call your minions back, Master! All of them! Right, Mr. Overlord! Show me some evil! If you need your minions to follow a complicated route, then you must sweep them through it. <laughs> Call that evil? Overlord? Overrated, more like. Don't let him get away, sire! Sweep your minions after him! Bet he'll whittle himself silly! I hurt! I hurt! I think you're ready, master. Accompany me to the throne room. Evil deeds won't do themselves. Feel free to beat him further if you wish. Your throne room, sire. Alas, one cannot be a bastion of evil these days without wretched heroes lining up to prove themselves. That last lot were particularly bothersome, killing your predecessor like that. Still, you're here now, sire. Evil will always find a way.
They also looted and destroyed much of the tower. But it's merely a setback for the forces of darkness, sire. You are our new overlord! Rebuild your tower, punish those so-called heroes, and re-establish a dark domain. This is the tower portal, sire. Sadly, it's missing its power source, the tower heart. However, there's still a tiny bit of energy left. It's just enough to transport you to the last known location of the heart. When you're ready, sire, step through the gate. I shall meet you on the other side. Salutations! Oh. Ah, you made it through the gate, sire. This tranquil wilderness, so rural and idyllic. Hideous, is it not? Try not to inhale it, my lord. You can summon your minions from these gates. They are ancient arcane links between your tower and this land. Currently, you can only summon browns. You must find the other lost minion tribes before you can summon them. Perhaps we may recover some of our looted tower objects in this lush, verdant abomination. Your minions are waiting. They need only to be summoned. Brown minions are your main fighters. They will happily die, so you don't have to. These fluffy creatures barely know they're alive, but you can still harvest life force from them. Remember, life force equals minions. Return to the gate to call more to your side. <laughs> All yours, you putrid lumps of flesh! Make your master proud! Onward! Oh! Halflings took over my farm! Tied me up in the sun to scare the birds! Now, those pumpkins are plotting against poor Bob. They want revenge for all the pies I made! And the soup, and the jelly, and the, uh, ice cream. I hear the pumpkins whispering at night. I won't leave my farm to the Harflings. Oh no, they're worse than the pumpkins. Please help get Bob's farm back. Oh. Your creatures ain't related to pumpkins, are they? My farm. Oh, well, I'd rather have a wrecked farm than one smelling a Harfling. These aren't your normal tea-sipping, cake-eating types either. They're evil little blighters. Kill! 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 Even the birds laugh at me. They're in league with the pumpkins. <laughs> Keep the... <laughs> that showed him. Oh, you'd better get going, Sonny. And the path beyond my house leads to the village of Spree. Oh, I bet there are more of them fat little demons about. So be careful. See the power that flows from those dead halflings? For you. That's evil energy. It gathers in all us evil creatures. You will learn more of it in time, Master. The Tower Heart! The halflings must have used it to grow pumpkins. The little fools. They have no idea of the real power it contains. Clear those pumpkins and let's get it back to the tower. Careful! Careful! Moldy! Keep up with the other minions! Giblet, I see you pretending to hold it with one claw. Hold your share, Gabin, you useless sack of pus! It is back where it belongs. This is the heart of the tower, sire. It will play a vital role in helping re-establish your dark domain.
It will allow you to visit the tower whenever you wish and provide access to all of the tower's resources. And look, it seems to have bestowed a little gift upon you, sire. You can now control ten minions! Ha! And it seems to have retained one of its spells. The Fireball Spell! Robust fellow. Might have known he'd make it. I'll teach you how to use him when the need arises. But I urge you, sire, find more of our missing tower objects. A crane would be particularly handy. Then we could clear the debris around here. Open up some rooms. Unfortunately, I am not the evil entity that I once was. I cannot take the feel of lush green grass under my feet and birdsong in my ears. In fact, I think I need to find a dark corner and something to pummel. I shall stay here. The heart will allow me to speak directly to you, sire, and see and hear what you do. Use the gate to return to the halfling domain. Salutations! Testing, testing! One, two. Is, is this thing working? It's a bit grubby. Can you hear me, master? Oh, there you are. And now, sire, the creatures around here are rather frisky, so they will have undoubtedly repopulated the area. Call forth some minions and head for that peasant village. Spree! Revolting name. Halflings approaching. Get ready. Hang on. Those ain't our flins. Look at the one with the helmet. Hmm. Could be two halflings holding up some armor. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I bet that's it. I don't trust those sneaky little wasp names. Mm, maybe you're right. Here, prove you ain't our flins and free our men from the camps down the road. If you are, stay right there so I can get my aim straight. Now that Lord Spree's gone... There! In the field! Greedy little halflings! Use your fireball spell on the wheat and roast them like suckling pigs! <laughs> One last thing, sire. Killing innocents, <laughs> and I use the term loosely, increases your corruption level. <laughs> this attracts more evil energy, which increases your powers. However, this is rarely suitable for establishing a long-term evil plan. That requires people, living people. Gratitude comes with its own rewards. Bye! This must be the work camp those peasants spoke of. Be careful, Lord. Treasure! We'll help you slay the brute! prisoners over there, but they've got a big old troll guard in them. Get us out of here! Hey, we don't need this crane anymore. You take it. Well, it is ours, wretched creatures. Quickly, sire. Have your minions bring it to the waypoint gate. Come on! 
Let's go to spree. Oh, never doubted you for a second. We were just having a little fun with you earlier. No offense, eh? <laughs> Nice to see folks enjoying themselves for a change. Quite a wild bunch, aren't they? Back home in Ruboria, I'm called Archibald Damius Methuselah Wobbleboard III. But folks around here just call me Archie. We've had some tough times. The halflings have ransacked most of the farms and everyone's turned up in spree on my doorstep. They voted me mayor. I got the drinks, yeah but no food to feed them. Look, I really need some... Uh, <laughs> ...valium nuts to get us back the food the halfling stole from us. Their village lies to the east. I bet they're keeping it there. Go on. Full tummies for us equals fuller pockets for you, if you get my drift. <laughs> Careful. This is the only bit of farmland we've managed to save from the halflings. But the crops won't be ready for months. We'll have starved by then. Halfling patrols are still out there. We've seen them go into this old workshop. Think they're keeping something in there. It's one of our smelters. And those devils have captured red minions to stoke it. Silly scorchers. They must be imprisoned in the tunnels under Spree. We need to put out the fire to move the smelter. But to do that, we must be able to summon reds. You have to find the red minion hive. <laughs> Looks like they're preparing a party down there. We should hurry up, sire. Don't want to miss it. Seems that we won't be joining the party just yet. While they're busy here, perhaps you should find out where those greedy devils have hidden Spree's food. Looks like you'll be able to fit your magnificent and imposing presence in through their lord. Harflings say they're going to serve us to Melvin. Oh, I don't want to be lunch. For you, for the master. <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you. <laughs> hey, those Harflings brought a load of food down here. You looking for it? Come on, let's get back to Spree. There's the food. Use your minions to move it, Master. Oh, you found it. Oh, Spree is saved. Thank you, Lord. If you could just place the food over here, Lord, we should take it up to Spree. That food would provide you with a substantial amount of life force, Sire. You could leave them the food. Just walk next to the platform and let your minions leave the food supply on it. Or if you're feeling particularly evil, why not just... That is, if we dispose of the witnesses. Melvin, the halfling hero, is all grown up and out. Pity he doesn't have the taste in music he does in food. 
Looks like Melvin is making a run for it. Well, a waddle for it. Your minions seem bewitched. It does have a haunting beauty to it. Perhaps we should stay a while. Revel in the melody. Oh, my feet, Master. I can't stop them. Oh, I'm dancing. So often, the great die before they die. Oh, his music will live on in our hearts. All this for one bloated halfling hero. They could feed a hundred minions. The Reds. Those halflings must be using them to start the cooking fires. They must use that wheel to control the flames. No. Roasted in his own kitchen. There's something evilly poetic about that. All roast meat for Melvin. A good halfling is an on fire and screaming halfling. So small now. <laughs> Burst him like a balloon, Master. in those of an especially evil disposition. Now you've dealt with Melvin, you should endeavor to find our fiery friends. and they'll look after you, just like one big evil family. <laughs> As I explained, reds are fire immune, but they also have a powerful ranged attack. Summon some red, sire. If you've reached your maximum minion horde with your browns, you can swap them at the gate. I think you should have a little practice, sire. Select your reds. <laughs> Red! Now sweep your reds into that fire barrier over there. That's the red minion hive master. Summon enough reds to carry it to the waypoint gate. Fire master! <laughs> Object. I like objects. <laughs> you have retrieved a smelter, sire. More forging options are available. Now we have the crane, we can start to rebuild your tower, sire. That crane is just the job. 
your minions are opening up the dungeon. Do go see it. It's so soothing. You can fight almost anything you like down there, providing you've already defeated it once. hey -o! Your minions have opened the Tower Forge. The smelter is being taken there. Visit the forge, Dark One, and create weapons and armor truly worthy of an overlord. Welcome! Yeah. Ah, the forge, sire. This place has brought forth weapons that could slay troll kings and armor that could stop a dragon's breath. Giblet has been promoted to Forge Master. He will show you around. The smelter is heating, sire. Please follow Giblet to the Forge Chamber. The castle spree is under siege. It's burning. Uh, the, 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 the demons that they came, they, they came out of the air. The lady, she told us to run, so I ran and I didn't look back, even when the screaming started. I don't know if the others made it. I'm not going back there again. A thousand halflings couldn't do this much damage. I smell magic in the air. That's never a good smell. Sire, I think you should investigate further. He was most definitely not local. I wonder if the lady that gibbering peasant mentioned is behind this. Better find another way, O oh Master of the Shadows. Oh, oh! My lady, please hurry. They're coming. Stay back. These people are no threat to you. Put that down. Okay, let's just run. <coughs> Quick, the storeroom. That was horrible. Unless you want the horrible following us in here, I suggest you shut the door. Reds at the back. These little creatures are just darlings, aren't they? I'm Rose. Well, it seems like you can handle yourselves. Interested in a job? Have you heard about the Heaven's Peak Plague? It's nasty. Very nasty. I came here to see if this place could shelter the poor lumps that aren't infected. Yet. Ugh. I need to get out of here. But I can't leave with these raiders everywhere, and I need my luggage. Could you deal with them and retrieve it for me? Oh, you should probably know. Those raiders had a strange creature with them. It's bound to be magical. Must have helped them get in here. Those raiders don't keep me helping the plague victims. They want to create chaos. If that plague gets out of Heaven's Peak, then things will get very disorganized. And I hate that. Mm. That creature's presence explains how these raiders entered the castle. Quick, Master! Position your reds on high ground to attack the beast. Reds! Now, bring the luggage to that female creature before she mows the place down. You choose oh. all! If you don't want your skin to rot and drop off, I suggest you find my luggage. Mm, please? For My luggage. You and your little cherubs found it. Cherubs? Ugh. I thought you were just the usual run-of-the-mill dungeon fodder, but you've surprised me. 
I think someone like you could use someone like me. Let's go. So this is your tower. Hmm, it could use a bit of work. Greetings, mistress. Sire, we've managed to reopen the private quarters. I've instructed the minions to take Milady's luggage there. If you're heading to Heaven's Peak, perhaps you could investigate what's been causing the plague. I'd better get up there. Wouldn't want those little deers eating my things and getting a tummy ache. Give me a chance to spruce up the place a little. Then come on up. I'll put the kettle on. Ah, there you are. This place isn't what I'm normally used to, but one has to make the best of things, I suppose. Let me show you around. Not much to look at here, but nothing that a really good dust wouldn't cure. Now this could be a great space. A bedroom, a banqueting area, even your own private interrogation room. I think that this area would make an adorable treasure vault. I think the lighting would set off your riches wonderfully. You do have riches, don't you? Now this is the nerve centre of your evil domain. I've created a scale model of your tower out of bits and bobs I found lying around. I'm very resourceful. The slime, the stagnant odour, the festering corpses. It's all so homely. You'll see that the city of heaven's peak dominates these swamp-laden lands, my lord. Within it, the great citadel of Angelus Keep squats like a fly on a dunk pile. Look, friend. The camp is getting pretty full now. We just can't take in anymore. And your little friends look pretty far gone. I I'm sorry. Oh, I don't think he's a refugee, sir. From the way he's dressed, I'd say he's heading to the city, not away from it. You mean you actually want to get in? What's wrong with this guy? You know about the plague, right? The zombies? The city's been closed off. Orders of Sir William, our paladin governor. He even cancelled his own wedding. And that's ain't a woman you want to cancel on. Look, if you and your creatures want to start wandering about, be my guest. Well, I suppose you might find a way in if you search. But I warn you, it's not safe. And you won't get any help from us. We've enough work to do in the camp as it is. And zombies ain't the worst of it. I feel terrible. Everything aches. Oh, what's happening? What's happening? Get away from me. Get away. Get away. Something strange is going on at that inn. I got out before they shut the city. Wouldn't want to be trapped in there. Hey, big guy, get over here. Heard you might be looking for a way into Heaven's Peak. <laughs> You're crazy, you know that? But I've still got a family in there. So maybe you're the kind of crazy we need right now. See that sewer entrance over there? I've been watching it. Seen a few refugees coming out. Not many, I grant you. And some are in a bad way. A real bad way. But if you want in, there it is. If you want to cross water, you'll need to locate the blue minions. They must be somewhere around here. They gravitate towards watery areas. I might have known that the blues would find somewhere nice and damp to hide. Go forth, sire, and retrieve their hive. Ah! <laughs> 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 
As you can see, Lord, the Blues are not adept fighters. Right, right. 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 They can resurrect fallen minions. As you can see, sire, Blues can cross water. You will need their skills to retrieve that hive. There's the blue hive. Return it to the tower and bring our boys home. Out of there! My feet feel soggy just watching you. Oh, they're dead. The serious kind of dead. Where you don't get up and start lurching around. No challenge there, sire. <laughs> so the priests didn't escape the plague either. Looks like the Silent Order, sire. But they have a temple within Heaven's Peak. <laughs> Treasure! Now you can see why they're called the Silent Order. Although having their mouths stitched up doesn't really give them a choice. Eh? You're going the wrong way. The city's infested. The priests have shut the temple. And all Sir William does is throw endless parties with that creepy red dawn line. He couldn't give a rat's fart at us. We're making a run for it. Better join us if you don't want to end up with bits hanging off. take down that fallen knight, I'm going to tell the others. So William doesn't care about this city anymore. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Since Sir William returned from his last crusade, the city has spiralled into chaos. There are zombies everywhere. Some say demons, too. And we even had to cancel the royal wedding. Some young harlot, I imagine, with full breasts and an empty <laughs> head. Could you look into it, Lord? I should stay here. Do what I can for these folks. Some are as frightened to go as they are to stay. Well, that's just typical of her. I mean, of her type, sire. A silly little wench, too daft to know what she's getting herself into. Let us in! Let us in! We are your lost sheep! Sheepies! Sheepies! No! Oh, we're sheepies! Give us sanctuary. Give us food. We beg you. you. Pious silent fiends, we're dying out here. Barriers won't save you. Not in the end. They'll break through. They've got to come out sooner or later. And we'll be waiting! Now that's just silly. They're starving potential worshippers. Do something! Come on, then! 
Oh! He's done it! He's broken it down! Looks like there is some humanity left. Let's go! My mumble is a bit rusty, but I, I believe he's saying, We surrender, please don't kill us. That's why he's asking the way to the nearest banana merchant. I'm inclined to go with the former. <coughs> they appear to have accepted you as their new god, sire. <coughs> Here comes another one. Another one's by the look of it. Now don't you start no trouble in here, lad. We'll be watching. We'll be watching. Welcome, sire. It may be hell on earth out there, but at our end, the drinks are still cold. Our beer will take you halfway to heaven, and I'm sure you will find something in here to show you the rest of the way. Come on, witch. We're dying of thirst here. <laughs> I need something strong! Welcome to the Order of the Red Door. Do enjoy your stay. Help! She's gone mad! She's my lady. No one is to disturb Her Majesty when she's with Sir William. So William the Paladin has fallen from grace with a succubus queen, eh? So she wasn't enough. She won't be happy about that. Fidelity is not a stop. Our queen is not to save you. East of the My sister Velvet. We don't speak. Speaking usually means she's got herself into some kind of trouble again. Judging by this place, Velvet's in it up to her silly little neck. Forsaken Tower? You certainly should not be turning up at my party uninvited and flouting the dress code. <laughs> at least you're good for a little entertainment. I do hope you can stay the distance, peon. I spent so long defending the right and the just. I thought fun happened to other people. I'm in here. And tell that greedy dwarf king that he can't have his wedding presents back. If I'm not going to have a wedding, I at least want presents. Ugh, that's velvet. Um. 
The wizard taught me how to seek my freedom. I won't let you take it, you uncouth lout. Never! Always watching. Well, hello, dark stranger. The rumors do not do you justice. You've brought me a gift. Some little pixies. You really shouldn't have. Next time, make it something shiny and expensive. Now, let me thank you properly. She's obviously fine. She can find her own way out. Ooh, she's quite the tasty treat, sire. Oh! Ugh! Narl, go to your corner. I'm going down there to sort this out. Sire, the tower can only accommodate one mistress, unfortunately. Come to play the concerned big sister? Come to spoil my fun, have you? And just as my rescuer and I were about to become better <laughs> acquainted. Sir William summoned an oversex demon, started a citywide plague, and now he's dead. I can see why you might be emotional. But stay out of my business. Him? Oh, he was overcompensating, believe me. I was about to walk out on him when he locked me up in here. And now you've come along, my black knight. Mm. You should know, sire, that while you were out, I found a way to strengthen your brown and blue minions. Common bribery, Rose. I thought that was beneath you. You know, I'd increase the abilities of his red and green pixies. And I could do so much more for you, darling. Especially if you take this bed back with me. Don't listen to her. Never listen to her. That's people's first mistake. Turn this door wheel and let's go. You're not going to let a poor girl just lie here, are you? You'll be sorry. She'll nag you to death. I appreciate your loyalty, sire. Pay no attention to her. She's all talk. Mistress Rose has already upgraded your brown, sire. You can upgrade your blues in your private quarters. Mm. Come on, my lovelies. Pay attention or Auntie Rose will have to hurt you. My sister has some issues, sire. Father was never there and mother spoilt her. Her own puppy, her own pony. No sheepy. Guess who had to clean up the blood? Speaking of cleaning, this place could do with a woman's touch. You should really get it looking a bit more homely. Yeah. These roots? Oh, I've never seen anything like it. Darn elves can't keep their own forest under control. These roots are strangling our crops. The forest? It's gone crazy. That ain't natural, I'm telling you. I've tried cutting them, setting them on fire. Nothing helps. It's elf magic. I never trusted those 40 ear layabouts. <laughs> You choose all! Ebonite Forest was 
once filled with elven magic. Creature and plant existed harmoniously amid leafy canopies and sun-dappled pools. <laughs> now it is dank, dark, corrupted. Ooh, I like what they've done with the place. What creature has the dream you brought forth? Alas, Obera is truly sickened. Elves, even dead ones, can speak telepathically to all magical beings, sire. Lazy creatures. It must prove that it is not a manifestation made flesh. If you are of the earth and not of the mind, seek out the one horned beasts. Once they bestowed healing, but now they crave the blood of living creatures. All living creatures. Blood! Blood! Release them from their pain and return here. Only then shall you learn more of Evernight's sorrow. Soppy, overrated pit ponies. Elves are despised. Not as much as bloody unicorns. Ah, I see one at The beasts are slain. Alas, it is only a brief light that shines within this darkness. Listen to the forest. Its sadness will tell you more. Oberon Green Haze once traveled the lands, vanquishing <laughs> When last he returned, our great hero lost his taste for battle. When the dwarven invaders came, he would not fight. Oberon's blade became dull, his bowstring brittle, and he would not wake from his slumber. Around him grew this tree, swaddling him in its branches. Then the dreaming came. Oh. Mm. Oberon. Catchy name. That elf is protected by a powerful shield master. The roots give it energy. What? What is happening? The tree. I feel it quivering. The shield is weakening. You must destroy the other roots known, sire. No doubt the dwarf domain is bloated with the spoils of war. We must find a way through, Lord. Green minions, we are in luck. They have resistance to the poisonous plants in Evernight. You must find their lair. Green spell! Viridian Caverns! The green minions must have made their home here. You must follow them, Master. Follow! Follow! Use the greens to pick up the green hive. We will need it to summon more of them. You are journeying toward damnation, outsider. 
We are the ever-vigilant ones, sworn to protect the tombs of our heroes fallen in battle. We guard their rest until the day when they shall rise and reclaim our fallen kingdom. It seems that the tombs hold the key to this place. Be thankful for the foolishness of others. Intruders! Defilers! Infidels! Cease so I may strip the quivering flesh from your unholy bones! you lot to hurry up. Fools! We're meant to be the thieves. And look, those rock huggers have got here first. Let's get out of here. You, call the overseer. Honey, love muffin. I found you. You mustn't use the Overseer, Snugglebottom. The old man don't like it. Clearly I didn't hit you hard enough. Jew, I don't like you beaming off like that, my little thieving sugar plum. Just stop talking. It makes Khan angry! Look what you did! Come on, you great lug. Let's go. This node is sturdier than the rest. Something must have strengthened it. And there is the something now! The proximity of those trolls must have toughened the node. in the afterlife. For you! Once I deserted my people, my forest, and I have been punished, I will not desert them again. On the outskirts of the Golden Hills, home to the dwarves. Now, dwarves, sire, they're like angry beards on legs. Angry beer soaked beards on legs. Ugh. 
Be glad of that chasm, master. Rock giants don't take kindly to anything squashier than they are. And everything is squashier than they are. like anything that fires or burns, and especially <gasps> explodes. Make that the downfall, sire. Yeah. I've never seen the point of slugs. They seem to exist merely to be squashed. These creatures may be deadly, but they have no love for dwarves. Perhaps that can be of use to us. He is no dwarf. Let us out! Let us out! Quick, before the guards return! Let me die with dignity, stranger. upon it, nor use it as a weapon. Gold! Music to my ears, along with the words trapped elves. Now we just have that 20-ton problem blocking our way. Mother Goddess! Poor creature's going to get a stomachache, sire. Best to put it out of its misery. domains need funding, Master. This should do very nicely. If it's gold you seek, there is plenty deeper in the mine. I'd rather die in a slug's belly than let Goldo have it. His greed has cost too many lives. Help us. Help us. The gold is yours. We don't want it. Slay those beasts and free us. Blessings be upon you. We must find the others. Everyone likes gold, sire. But this King Goldo seems obsessed with it. Huh. There's nothing to buy around here. I wonder what he's doing with it. The dwarves are fiercely secret about their brewing rituals. This fort must guard the brewery. Oh! 
up the dwarves' brewing operations. Their empire is built upon this beverage. on the other side. <laughs> this elevator must lead to the lower levels where they keep the brewing equipment. Drunken scoundrels, obviously too busy swilling beer to keep up proper maintenance. Strike a decisive blow against the dwarves. They can't cope with sobriety. Return it to the tower, and your minions will get a permanent boost. And they'll be right, terrors to put to bed. They say that thieves have been spotted at the new temple construction site. Gold, though, is so fearful that they're after his gold that the royal halls have been locked down until they are dealt with. Thieves, eh? Wouldn't want them to steal the statue before we had a chance to. The Mother Goddess statue. Stolen. They make us work. Build a new temple. I confess, Master. I have been hatching somewhat of, oh, let's call it, a cunning plan. I won't bore you with details just yet, but it involves gaining access to that statue. Ah, there's the statue. Judging by that walking cliff face down there, the dwarves are expecting trouble. Don't disappoint them, master. All these rocks. Where are the birds? The trees? Please, release us from this shame. Mother Goddess, watch over you. <laughs> ah, as I suspected, it's the creature from the Elf Temple, sire. Jewel, that thieving female, is still after the statue. Wonderful work, sire. Now, we come to the critical phase in my cunning plan. 
Sweep brown minions onto the statue and see what happens. So the old rumors were true. The statue is hollow. More minions, sire. More! Good. I'm sure the jewel will be back once she sees the coast is clear. I doubt she knows the secrets of the statue. When they arrive in her domain, your minions will creep out and start looking for a gate. Let us leave this place. Give her a chance to do a dirty work in peace. Your evil domain even further, sire. Won't that be nice? The statue has arrived in Jewel's domain, sire. Your minions have escaped and are searching for a suitable tower gate. The last of the elven women. I heard them in there, crying out to me. Without them, our ancient race is surely doomed. You would go into the lair of Evernight's destroyer? Riches abound. But you must be prepared to slay the master and his beast. They say he calls the beast Roly. Slaying and riches. I see no downside to this idea, master. The minions that escaped from that Mother Goddess statue are still searching for a tower gate, sire. <laughs> Careful, Lord! You don't want to end up buried in rubble and chunks of dwarf. <laughs> that must be Goldo! Minion 
Ancients have found a secluded gate, sire. I believe this is the Raborian Desert. Watch the sand, it gets in all your crevices. Jewel must have a hideout around here. You and you, over there. You two stay here. Why fight when you can pay others to do it for you? Everyone has a price. She's barely left the crib. That young lady needs a smacked bottom. I have a suggestion, sire. When you find a jewel, don't kill her. What? That little flibberty gibbet knows much of these lands. Capture her, and I think I can persuade her to be a little more talkative. better object to steal than the one everyone wants. Can't imagine why. It's an ugly looking thing. I've managed to increase the energy of that tower gate, but not for long. If you can drive her across the gate, I will transport her to your tower. No place to run there. <laughs> Our guards are currently incarcerating her. Return when you wish to begin speaking to our prisoner. Oh! I beg you, bring the statue hither so that it may be returned to Evernight. A rather splendid tower ornament, sire. I'm sure Mistress Rose is desperate to give it a good dust. You have done the elves a great service. We will not forget this. The young lady has been restrained, sire. Let me go! Do you know who I am? Do you know who I work for? Spirited creature. A few days in my Iron Maiden will sort that out. Look, wait, I don't do pain. The wizard, he wanted me to pinch the statue. No idea why he even paid me. Ha, I would have done it for free. There's nothing like the rush of the steel. That's Khan. He's coming for me. I wouldn't want to be you right now. That warrior isn't happy that you've snatched his lady friend, Lord. He's attacked Spree. You must stop him before he kills all your worshippers. She's certainly impertinent. Like my sister, only with some actual talent. Mistress Rose requests that you join her in your private quarters, sire. Master! <laughs> Sire, I think the time has come to tell you about the finer points of running an evil domain. Let me see! Stop pushing! I have diagrams, charts, and a pot of tea on. Do come in. Now you take the... Nice! And some are... And you squeeze. Total annihilation. Get something sharp. Right in the pincer maneuver. A 
And that's how you do it, sire. Good luck. Ow! Ah, wait, no, 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 no. Help us! He's destroying the town! Come on! I'm sorry, sire. I'm sorry, sire. They threatened to kill my sheep. Naughty, naughty. Those are minion sheep. That! Thank the gods, it's you, Lord. He's in here. Oh, no. There goes Stan. There's no coming back from that. Attack the creatures from above, Master! Rain chaos down upon them! Hey! Hey! Uh, we didn't mean to betray you, sire. It just sort of, uh, happened. We were weak. Forgive us. Let us worship you again, sire. They have the loyalty of potatoes, sire. Do with them what you will, but make it quick. Khan is heading for Heaven's Peak. Creatures from above, Master! Rain chaos down upon them! You! I know you! You took her away from me! You make Khan angry! Is mine. He cannot stop me. You cannot stop me. I will crush, crush you and the old man. I will find her. Your presence is required. 
Return to the tower. Return of the Overlord, the one true evil. Oh no, not you, the real Overlord. Yes. I've always been loyal to evil. I don't ask questions. Evil is as evil does. Welcome back, sire. I am home. Even if I did have to hitch a ride inside this wizened and weary body. I believe you've met my tortoise, Velvet. I barely recall him, Daddy. She has been most useful to me. And then there's Rose. Sadly, she has not been so cooperative. As if I could side with someone that thinks my sister is useful. You thought you'd killed me, didn't you? You and your hero friends. But I'd planned a little trip, you see. Really get under good skin. <laughs> Literally. That fool wizard thought he'd won. Until I purged his very soul and became one with his mortal carcass. Now that, you'll agree, is a cunning plan. One by one, the others fell to my corrupting influence. Those walls of goodness, purity, obedience. One just has to know where to push. And as for you, you fell, and they left you behind in their desperation to become heroes. I gave you a second chance, a different path. You were of use to me. But now you're just in my way. Minions! Master! Master! We are your minion, sire! He was nothing compared to you, your supreme evilness! I believe you've been borrowing my spells. No more. Now, I shall eliminate your physical presence. You already dealt with the others for me, my little puppet. <laughs> Master, while you still have power left, I can speak directly to you. There must be a way to stop him. I've got it! The Tower Heart! Rose, where are you going? Don't make me kill you. The Tower Heart. Those were the smart one. If only you'd joined me. No matter. Once I absorb your energy, I will restore it to its full power. Minions! Could have been a hero. Just look at you now. I think I've managed to weaken the Tower Heart. You need to go after him now. Get your minions back. That's the only way you'll stand a chance. Yuck! That room is full of beetles. They're getting stuck in my boots. Mm, nothing like a little snack with your entertainment. Master! 
old, Daddy never had time for us before. Always off smiting evil somewhere. New Daddy sees my potential. You chose her? Her? Are you blind? You really backed the wrong horse, didn't you, Rose? Hmm. This tower reeks. That ugly old pixie can go for a start. Daddy's going to buy me all the presents I want, especially the shiny ones. He may look like him, but that's not my father. My father was the wizard, the real wizard. Not that he was much of a father to begin with. He was the one who sent those raiders after me back in Castle Spree. He wanted me to join with him. I think you can definitely take him. Probably. Well, maybe. Don't let him take my little cherubs. The minions are ours now. He's been overlord a lot longer than you. But you're a fast learner. Don't be too despondent. You did quite well. If you defeat him, I'll gladly have you back. I mean, serve you. I've grown quite fond of you, so try not to die. You were a decent overlord. I might even miss you. Did you have fun killing off your old friends? Don't you remember how they left you for dead? The tower remembers. It has absorbed their whinings, their betrayal of you. Listen to them. Is he dead? <laughs> we must help him. He fought beside us. There may still be a chance. No, we gotta go. Take what we can and get out of here. He's right. We vanquished the evil. He has earned his rest. Leave him. Then my minions found you, healed you, made you ready to become my successor temporarily. A minion hive? That's it, sire. Now find the others. want to be heroes. They're so predictable. So are you. Go! 
close to evil they really are. And so the evil overlord defeated the other evil overlord, and the land rejoiced. His domain flourished, rished. Evil became a part of everyday life. His minions went forth and multiplied. <laughs> the people were in awe of their great leader. He, his mistress, and all their little minions lived happily ever after. <laughs> But evil will always find a way. <laughs> Sire, there seems to be a surge of evil energy coming from the Mellow Hills. Your peasants are being drawn towards it. Salutations! The gods have surely smiled upon us, lowly peons. They have given us a way to escape our dark overlord. It must be a passage. A passage to heaven. Do I get wings? I want wings. Do they have wings? Oh, I hope they have wings. Come on, let's be free from this sheep-killing, pumpkin-smashing overlord. That overlord can grow his own bloody food. I'm going where there's a halo with my name on it. And wings! Don't forget the wings! I had some wings once. Gave me a rash. However, sire, you have an evil domain to uphold. You can't just let your subjects wander off. It's bad for your image. Find out where they're going and stop them! Shock. No, 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 can't have that. You must investigate further, sire. Don't go near the pumpkins, I tell you. They're fearless little varmints. I saw them eat a sheep once. A whole one. Hooves and all. I think one of them's joined my foot. <laughs> bang! Bang! I think one of them's joined my foot. Angry pumpkins. Deadly. <laughs> Oh, they'll have your boots 
Flash off in a flash! They like to start with the toes. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What are you doing, you little brutes? Don't you threaten me! Oh, okay, 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 okay. okay. <laughs> It's the tormented spirit of Melvin, sire. Looks like he's getting all the food he could ever wish for down here. All that flesh wobbling from side to side. Oh, it's almost hypnotic. Oh, this should be interesting. <laughs> That's the way to end a meal. Oh, there he goes again, blowing up and reincarnating like that must hurt like <laughs> hell. Ah, but look at him. Melvin just can't seem to stop himself. They must be preparing Melvin's eternal feast. Oh, damnation is busy work. For sheep, sire. I think I can hear Melvin drooling from here. They're gonna cook me. Get me back to my home and I'll give you something for your little chaps. I don't want to die with my ears full of mint sauce. You don't want to eat me. I've been in the sun too long. I'm all leathery. Melvin fares on an eternal diet of dirt and earthworms. Actually, a, a nice juicy earthworm can be rather yummy. Mm. That glowing object must be the key to control the surface. Please distract it and return it to the tower. Concentrated evil from those heroes is forcing something to the surface, like some kind of suffocating pustule. I hear it's a new theatrical production about the glories of the elven race. <laughs> Ooh, 
places, everybody. Elves. My eyes cannot continue to watch Snap this travesty. Roots! And Oberon Greenhaze! Ah, I see we have a special guest in the back. Now, welcome to the Terror of Evernight Forest. I do hope you enjoy the show. Act 1 in which the elven race live peacefully deep in the Evernight Forest, protected by the unworthy deity, the Mother Goddess. Oh, brother, how lucky we elves are to live in the bounteous green bosom of Evernight. I, my friend, we are. Let us pray to the Mother Goddess. For although she is a cold and uncaring harlot, undeserving of worship, she alone will listen to our woe, our sorrow, and our poetry. Cold and uncaring harlot, eh? The writer of this play doesn't seem to like the Mother Goddess much. Or the elves, for that matter. Mm, I think I'm a fan already. A tool <laughs> in which the dwarves attack Evernight, crushing the elves into the ground of their precious forest. <sighs> now that's entertainment! Act three, in which the terror comes to Evernight Forest. Oh, where is it? Where, where's the terror? I want the terror. No, oh, what do you mean it's broken? Okay, back to act one again, everyone. It's not like you lot don't need the practice. Oh, Shay! Just as it was getting good. Perhaps you should locate this terror of Evernight, sire. He'll bang things with a bang. There's the Abyss Stone, sire. Oberon's roots are covering it. Deity. It's Roly! That must be the... <laughs> terror! Oh, better find a way to reach it, my lord. Act 3, in which the terror comes to Evernight Forest! Thank <laughs> you. 
So, you enjoyed the show, sub-creature? I see you have an appreciation for the finer points of punishment. Your actions amuse me. I have plenty more abysses. Why don't you entertain me by trying to conquer those? <laughs> you and your little vermin army. <laughs> you are master of the elven abyss, sire. However, if what he said is true, we have work to do. It is an elegant sire. Oh, sire, our women went into this gate. Apart from Molly at the inn, that is. Even though those demons have gone, our girls won't come out. They say they're fed up with us. And I want my tea. And my tummy hurts. And my socks are full of holes. Please see if you can talk some sense into them, Dark Lord. We were just being friendly. Oh, not you. That thing. What was its name again? I forget. Anyway, it opened up this abyss for us so we could get a bit of peace from those creatures of yours. Up in Heaven's Peak, it was succubus this, succubus that. Why don't you have wings like she's got? And it's all his fault. Now that filthy slug is oozing around and stopping our lackeys cleaning properly. They're useless at anything else. Can't arrange flowers. Can't even cross stitch a sampler. I'm trying my best, my lady. This is clearly some new breed of evil, sire. Proceed with caution. Oh, that's disgusting. Clean that up at once. You'll find the cleaning machine over there. You need more than a minion to operate that, Master. It's a known fact that paladins remove 99% of all household stains, including demon vomit, rabbit badger phlegm, and slug goo. Yes, yes, that's a very fitting punishment. You cleaned up his mess, now he can clean up ours. Would you look at that, Val? He's done it. He's actually done it. Hmm. Perhaps you can be of use elsewhere. Let him through, girls! We thought a bit of green around here would brighten the place up. Tea on the lawn, a spot of croquet, you know. But that stuff just keeps growing, and we're not mowing it. Play along, sire. Play along. I know it's undignified, but we must lure this evil out in the open. Very adequate. Looks like he's a keeper, Mav. Could be, could be. Let's see what this dark creature can do about the parlor. You can now create the harvesting help. sit down for a nice bit of embroidery in a place like this. The slugs keep breeding and attracting the rats. I keep poking them with my knitting needles, but they won't go away. 
one almost feels sorry for them. The rats and slugs, that is. Consider these to be mercy giving, sire. Yeah. Stop them before they start messing with the furnishings. I can see you really got the hang of this. But don't think you're coming up here without bringing us a present. Yes, yes. Something pretty that smells nice. I think I have a few old eyeballs in my room, Lord. Or I could get Gubbin to dig around in the dung pile. Can your minions just carry them off? Somewhere a long, long way away. They tried to make me wear this little leather outfit, Lord. Ooh. Look what you've done. on behalf of all males everywhere. We'll soon have them out of their evil ways and into something small and insubstantial. Coming, mistress! The kettle's just boiled! No, no, I, I won't forget the biscuits. Oh, drat. It's off the hook. The abyss stone, sire. Better take it quickly before the creature those females mentioned comes back. Was it a creature? Memory like a sheep these days. <laughs> Perhaps it was a plant or some kind of giant bee. It's drinkable or valuable. Sire, I detect some sentience emanating from that golden Goldo statue. I think our grumpy little friend's spirit may still reside in That's eternal damnation with some style. Thank you. <laughs> Understandably, that Wraith doesn't get tired of watching dwarves explode. However, we're going to need him out of the way if you want that gold. And by out of the way, I mean dead again. Oh, <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Look at him trundling after that gold. They still can't resist it. Why don't you see what happens if you lure him to a bigger piece? <laughs> <laughs> the smell of gold is luring them out, sire. <laughs> the dwarves' hatred for gold was even greater than their lust for gold. His incarceration amused me, but perhaps it is only fitting that he is hacked apart by his own people. <laughs> ah. The statue is rebuilding itself. Keep those dwarves busy, Lord. Oh, yeah. oh. <laughs> Inside Goldo. Let's lure a few more angry beards in here to dig that little fellow out. Think about it, the more the memory fades. Oh. You choose all. Uh, Master, you need more dwarves. Uh, protect those dwarves, sire. They can't dig if they're dead. Start, Lord. Entertaining, but you have yet to see my final act. The Rubordian Desert is bristling with evil energy, Dark One. It must be the source of all these abysses that have been popping up like they own the place. <laughs> Locked, sire, but it resonates with evil energy. Perhaps the proximity of the other abyss stones might coax it to unlock. <laughs> <laughs> Fasten your boots and warm up your fireballs, oh lord. The power behind this one is greater than anything we've encountered. <laughs> Quickly, ma! 
Master. Ready your minions. I keep getting this nagging feeling in the back of my mind, sire. A scab of a memory I just can't pick. Oh dear, it's a labyrinth. If you see any rosy-cheeked maidens whinging about goblin kings, or if anything starts singing, kill them! This creature tied me up. He said it was called... Uh, oh, I forgot. I'm soggy. I'm soggy. I want that. Carry on, carry on, don't mind me. I'm soggy. I won't lie. This creature tied me up. He said it was called... Uh, I forgot. Don't burn me. Burn him. He looks all lovely and flammable. I'm soggy. I'm soggy. I won't lie. Set me on fire! I smell terrible! It's you! And you brought your army! Oh, I feel so much better now! This creature tied me up! He said it was called. Uh. I forgot. It's you! And you brought your army! Oh, I feel so much better now. This creature tied me up. He said it was called... Uh, I forgot. Carry on, carry on. Don't mind me. They call this place the Infernal Abyss. <laughs> I really don't like the sound of that. I'm soggy! I'm soggy! I won't lie. Ah, that's better. You can see where you're going now. These peasants seem particularly flammable, Master. I know you! You took her! You took my little sugar plum! Come here, I'll tear you apart with my teeth. Well, if it isn't our old friend Khan, looks like his anger has literally blown him to pieces. <laughs>
Hey, can you scratch my left leg, please? It's the Temple of the Forgotten God, sire. So this must be the Infernal Abyss. When this deity's former spouse, the Mother Goddess, found him in the arms of another, she cursed him. Anyone who tries to remember him starts to forget him. That's almost as bad as death for a god. The curse must be weakened the closer you get to his lair. The overeating, the play, those females. He must be trying to claw his way back into the world, making every creature suffer as he does. <laughs> Are open, Master. Time to put a little hurt in on that meddling deity. <laughs> Do you know what it's like to be forgotten, sub creature? Once my name was spoken in whispers, it brought dread to this land. Now that petulant goddess wishes my name lost in the mists of time. No more! I will awaken their nightmares, their darkest memories. They will remember me, and they will remember what they feared! With each death, they shall remember me! I have seen evil masters come and go, 
exploded, disintegrated, emoliated, even one time eaten by a giant weasel. But I admit, I had a soft spot for this last one. Ah, he may still find a way to escape the infernal abyss, but we may have to find a new master. <sighs> Well, evil always finds a way.